In chapter 15, we begin our exploration of the beautiful and unifying conclusion of calculus. So in this section, chapter 15.1, we are exploring vector fields, and we're going to be combining vector-valued functions and multivariable functions to form these vector fields. So to get us started, in general, at any one instant or any moment in time, each point in space can be modeled with a vector. And the collection of these vectors is called a vector field. So to get us warmed up and used to the idea of vector fields, let's look at an illustration of such a vector field. So here we have that a velocity vector field models the motion of air particles in the breeze at one moment in time. So such a vector field might look something like this. And each one of these vectors is representing or modeling the motion of air particles in the breeze. And now these vectors do not have to be of equal length either. It could have some vectors of different length here. And we represent this velocity vector field by some capital vector F. And there's two observations that we want to make in looking at this illustration. The first observation is that these individual vectors indicate the direction of motion. So individual vectors indicate direction of motion at that moment in time. Our second observation is that the length of these individual vectors indicate the speed. Which makes sense to us, right, because length is equivalent to magnitude. And if we think way back to the beginning of Calc 3, when we were looking at vector calculus, we know that the magnitude of the tangent vector is equivalent to the speed of a velocity vector. Right, so the length of each individual vector here indicates the speed, and the individual vectors indicate the direction of motion. So let's go ahead now and think about a formal definition for a vector field. And here we introduce the definitions in R2 and R3. So our first definition here, for capital vector F in R2, we want to let F and G be continuous and differentiable functions on a region R in the plane. And a vector field in R2 is a function, capital vector F, that assigns each point XY to a vector, capital F of XY. And we write this as the function capital vector f of x, y is equal to a vector valued function, a, a multivariable vector valued function. So we have little f of x, y, little g of x, y. So there's our vector components. And we could also write this in a standard form saying this is f of x, y times unit vector i plus g of x, y times unit vector j. So similarly, in R3, here we let f, g, and h be continuous and differentiable functions on some region d in space. So a vector field in R3 is again a function that assigns each ordered triplet to the vector. And we would write this as capital F of x, y, z, and in our vector component form, we have little f of x, y, z, little g of x, y, z, and little h of x, y, z. And again, equivalently, we can write this in our standard unit vector form, little f of x, y, z, i hat, plus g of x, y, z, 
j hat plus h of x, y, z times k hat. So we can see here just from these definitions how we're combining vector-valued functions and multivariable functions to form these vector fields.